After handling errors in nested routes, let's tackle something equally important, handling errors within layouts. We know that error.tsx handles errors for all nested child segments, but there is an interesting catch with layout.tsx components in the same segment. The error boundary won't catch errors thrown in layout.tsx within the same segment because of how the component hierarchy works. The layout actually sits above the error boundary in the component tree. Let's head back to VS Code and see this in action with a practical example. I'll start by copying the error.tsx file from the review ID route into the product ID route. Then in the product ID layout.tsx, I will add the same random error throw we had in the review ID page. Copy over both the random number generator and the error throwing logic. Change the message to error loading product. I'll comment out the error code in review ID to avoid confusion. Back in the browser, when we reload the page and trigger the error, you will notice something is off. There is no error boundary catching it, and our app breaks with unhandled runtime error. We also see our error message, error loading product. This highlights a crucial point. Error.tsx won't handle errors from a layout.tsx file in the same segment. The solution? Well, we need to move the error.tsx file up to the layout's parent segment. In this case, the products route. Reload the page, and you will see everything works as expected. The error boundary renders properly, replacing just the products route content while keeping the header and footer and other higher level UI elements intact. At this point, I am pretty sure you have a question lingering in your mind. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.